everyone, welcome to the 36th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to revit. So, to continue where we left off, from camera and walkthrough, we will finally tackle rendering. And here's an example of it. Amazing, right? So, let's do this. To start off, let's try and do a camera within 3D instead of doing it in a plan view as a good practice. So here again, go to camera. Let's click somewhere here at the front of the house facing like this. Now, at the start, it looks kind of good. But let's do some changes. Let's close this one. The camera is gone. I don't know what happened. Let's do it again. There's the camera. It's this one. So let's go here to the front. Let's try and move the camera a bit here like this. All right. Everything is inside the view range cone. Let's see if it, this can change a little bit as well like this. Let's go back here and check. Alright, looks a little bit good. Now, here, we can actually click this part and change the crop size here. Now, let's make the height maybe 6 inches, the width maybe 11 inches. Apply. We can also use scale if you want to do some lock proportions, but I'm quite satisfied with using FOV. Alright, so from here, I'll adjust it like this a little bit more. Alright, then going to remove this one. Looking good and zoom in more like this. Alright, now it looks kind of a bit better than the usual and pretty realistic. Hmm, looking good. Again, here so that we can hide the lines. Antique show edges, apply once more. There, looks better, doesn't it? Now, on to the rendering phase. So, the rendering should be in, yeah, here in view. Click here or use the shortcut key, which is RR. All right, here's the option that we got. Let's start with region first. If you take this, you'll get a red border that you can control. Think of it as like your crop region as an example. So let's make it smaller for now so it will draft or rather it will red faster. Now let's try to render it using draft alone and render. I believe this would be fast. It won't take a minute to render this, but let's give it a try and see how long it will take. There it is. It rendered fast as I hope it would since it's only a draft and we've made a small region. So let's close that and show the model once more. You don't need to tick region all the time. We can do this. We can render it without having to tick region like so. But again, it might take sorry, it might take a little bit longer than usual, but let's give it a try and see how long it will take. There we go. Looks a little bit better, but if you zoom in, of course, it's gonna look bad. So let's try another one. Let's show the model. Okay, now instead of using screen, we will use printer. And as you see, there's a word here that says DPI. What's DPI? DPI, or rather, dots per inch, is a measure of resolution of a printed document or a digital scan. Higher density means higher resolution. So, DPI is a measure of the number that's, that can be placed in a line across 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. In short, higher DPI, sharper the image. And in this case, in addition, it will slowly render and it will take more time as well. So, let's give 600 DPI a try. But now, once I render, oh, also, let's use high. I usually use high, by the way. And let's add a region here. 
something here should be good i don't know how long this will take but anyway oh again all right here now once i click render i know this is gonna take a lot of time so after that i will stop the recording and continue on once the rendering is done so i'm gonna click now it's gonna take a long time so i'm gonna fast forward to that now all right done there we go it looks much much more sharper doesn't it and it looks a lot better all right so um i think this might be it for the revit basic tutorial and we might move on to advanced or much more difficult phase but let's see so anyway for questions and suggestions please do comment below and if you enjoyed or find this tutorial helpful do support me by liking and subscribing thank you very much guys Thank you.